Thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. In my last submarine video, I found some shipwrecks in Seattle's Lake Union. These were only about 40 feet down at the deepest. In this video, we're going for something much deeper. Our target is a PBY-4 bomber that's resting at the bottom of Lake Washington at 150 feet down. And then after that, we're heading back to Lake Union to try and catch some rideshare bikes. And we even use an air compressor and a big bag to pull one up out of the mud. So stay tuned. So we're motoring out to a crashed World War II bomber that we're going to dive down to. And I bought this tangible physical book, believe it or not. And uh, there's coordinates in here for like all the shipwrecks in the Puget Sound area and on Lake Washington. So I'm going to head out to the bomber that's detailed in here. We're looking, there's the picture right there. That's what we're going to find. That's got to be it. Look at that. Yeah, there's something down there. That's got to be a bomber. So we launched our fee fish submarine, but unfortunately we were unable to put it in directly over the bomber since there was another boat in the area. So that made it difficult to find. The submarine has a compass on board, so we had to guess at the submarine's location and then just drive towards the heading that we thought the bomber was at. Oh, wow. I did, I'm on the bottom. Well, really? Yeah. Well, 150 feet. feet. Whoa, okay. So I have absolutely no idea. We're northeast of we it. We need to go that way. Yeah. Which, uh, okay. We need to go northwest. I don't know. I wouldn't be entirely surprised if we drive around for a long time and never find it. Oh, I can see clouds of dust on the bottom. Fish could be getting scared out of the way. There's a beer can. Yeah. Found that. Maybe the pilots were drinking beer. That's why they crashed. Interesting rock. Oh, there's a fish. Holy shit, I found a fish. Whoa, that fish is just chilling there. I got a notification that popped up and it scared the fish. Okay, we are currently in the boat. We are north of it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... It's got to be the south because that's a big, a big thing. It looks like we are 200 feet away here. So. Really? Still? Yeah. But we're going to keep drifting that way, so this is good. Just keep, yeah. You just keep driving south. Sure hope this compass works. There's a little tiny fish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the clouds of dust that I'm seeing down there are fish just getting scared and booking it out of my light. Where are you, bomber? This is the end of the line. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a bottom dweller. Whoa, he skirted. <laughs> I scared him. I'm just thinking like it's entirely possible that I'm just driving along on the bottom and I like go under its tail and just have no idea that the tail was above me or the wing even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're at 30% battery, so can't be down for too much longer. Oh, shit. Did you find it? Oh, I found some. Ooh -wee. Yeah. Oh, this looks like it could be a airplane maybe. Yep, yep, I found it. Oh, that's it. That's definitely it. Holy crap. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it definitely looks aeronautical. Yeah, come check this out. Okay, you found the cockpit? You gotta go inside. Dude, I think this might be the cockpit. Look at that! Whoa! What dude. the hell is that? That might be an engine right there. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, Whoa, I, I dude. Engine, engine maybe? Okay, I gotta go. Whoa, what the hell is this thing? So I was going north. Here's something else. This is like a grate of some sort. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight north a little bit and see if I find anything else. Okay, there's... Oh, whoa. Yeah, oh, dude. Man. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Look at this. Dude, there's... Oh, my God, there's a roof over me. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm gonna get go stuck. Backwards. Oh, fuck. I'm in a fucking box, dude. What the hell? I gotta get out of here. Okay, move to the um, right. I'm going straight back. Okay. Straight back into the right. Yeah, because I was going to the right, huh? You've been going to the left, so you're, now you're gonna go to the right. Oh, fuck. I'm getting pushed now. I gotta turn. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so stuck. Wait, I gotta go this way. Yeah, okay. I gotta go this way, and then turn, and then see. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm, I think I'm free. This is a straight booby trap. So conveniently, our camera stopped recording at the height of excitement here, but I turned around and saw that the submarine's tether was indeed quite stuck. This goes to show how careful you have to be that you're not accidentally driving under something. The visibility is only a few feet down here, so situational awareness is tough. And if something gets stuck down here, it's going to be down there for a long time, because not that many people can scuba dive down to 150 feet, so it would be tough to find someone to go get it for you. Miraculously, I was able to follow the cable back through the engine that it was stuck on and eventually got it free. I see, I see the cable going straight up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow my cable straight up. I'll tilt down and see if my cable is going down to the, uh, to the airplane. No, it's not. 
Yes, we're free. Oh my God, dude. That's yeah. so sketch. Yeah. How do we avoid this again? I guess just don't go sideways. But maybe don't get too close to it also. Yeah, don't go under any roofs. Yeah, that look, was that a wing just there that we saw? That's a wing. I mean, who is knows? that a wing? I'm just gonna follow uh, the top of this then, okay. whatever it is. Yeah. Getting your submarine stuck on a World War II bomber is one of the most common side effects of poor quality sleep. Luckily, I switched over to a Helix Sleep mattress and haven't gotten my submarine stuck since. Thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. They make premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that. They made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. Based on my results, Helix matched me with their Sunset Mattress. It's their softest memory foam model, and oh boy was it soft. It's really cool how these things come vacuum packed. All you have to do is unwrap it and let it expand to its full size. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, along with a 10 year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Their Memorial Day sale is running now. It's the perfect time to upgrade your sleep with 25% off a Helix mattress, plus two free pillows. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash rctestflight to find out more about this limited time offer. It's not really letting me go forward. Is the cable? Oh my God, it's so far over there. We're, we're far, should we back up? Should I try to back us up or? Yeah. I'm just gonna, if this is a wing, I'm just gonna go along the wing. Not really low battery, so I can't stay down for more than a few more minutes. Minute. This must be the wing tip right here. Wow, it's corroded. You can see into the wing. So this is the elevator. Oh, that's an elevator! Or, is that a, or aileron, aileron, maybe. Might be on the wing, yeah. Trim tab. You just got our tether stuck Flaps. In the Oh, really? It's fine, we're not moving. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is definitely the wing then. It's gotta be the wing, because I don't see a tail. Yeah. Okay, but you can you go to the... And I, I see the fuselage now. Oh, good. Okay. My battery is 14%. Oh, I see a hole. Oh my god. So spooky. Wow, we... Oh, boy. There's another one. Look at these holes. What is that? Dude, it's a window. Where are we? Sort. Is this the fuselage? Yeah. Is it like looking top down? Yeah. You gotta get your dry suit on and go down here. It's too deep for me. Here's the... This is the cockpit right here. Holy oh, shit, look it. at that. That's it. That's it. Wow. Whoa. Oh my, there's the the yoke in the no seat. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you go God. left a little bit and look for it, like at the controls? Oh, that's so good. I don't see any dials. Should I go in? No. Where's that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. No, don't go. That was enough. Don't that go was in. Enough that was right awesome. There. That was good. Let's go uh, look at the nose. Dude, that's so insane. I wonder if that window broke and they swam out. No, they were probably dead. Okay. I want to see if I can see my reflection in the mirror. Dude, this is so eerie. Look at that. Whoa, dude, there's a hatch. Safely evacuated to life rafts. Oh, wow. Phew. Okay. No one died. Makes no me feel ghosts. better. That's good. That's good. No okay. ghosts are going to grab my... Whoa, there's the nose. Look at that. That's the nose, dude. Oh, that, does it have guns right there? Like yeah, turrets? those that must have been the gun turret. Oh, wait, look down, look down. Those are are those the turrets right there? The turrets themselves, these lines. Ready to there? look down. I can't back up. We might be hitting something. That's yeah, it. those are the guns. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. There's a fish. That's the gun turret, man. Wow. Okay, that's enough. I'm going up. All abort, right. abort. Alright. It's slowly coming up, so we're not caught on anything. Yep. Um it's you said it feels heavy though? Pretty heavy. Heavier than normal. What are we at? We're at like 100 feet or something. Uh, we're at 64 feet. It's a lot of cable. We still got a lot more to bring in. Oh, you want a cookie? Yes, I do. Ah, I do. Those are good. We just tied up the boat to uh, Bird Poop Island here. And we're waiting for the ROV to charge before we head back into the water. This could be a thumbnail for my motor build video. It's about noon and the lake is just dead calm. This is the day I wish I had a full-scale ground effect vehicle. Hey, quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe if you like watching my videos. Also, I recently started an Instagram account for RC Test Flight, so follow that if you want to see what I'm working on. 148. Oh, oh, I just hit the bottom. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. Oh, there's an airspeed sensor. Oh, oh. Air tube, yeah. Okay, let's make sure I'm not under anything now. I don't want to get caught underneath 
that cockpit or whatever I was under last time, a wing probably. Wow, look at this window. <gasps> Dude, we're here. We're, it's, I just randomly decided to go south. And if I went north, I wouldn't have found it. So that was good, a uh, good guess. Got lucky. Dude, this is sick. Here's another hole. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, this might be the start of the tail. Stabilizer, there you go. How could I have gotten to the end already? Is this a small plane? This thing does not move fast and I'm already at the back. Hopefully it's not a T-tail. Well, look at the number on the side. 96. Six. Whoa. Ninety. Oh wait, wait nine, nine, six, nine, six, nine. nine. If it's a T-tail, I'm about to get smacked in the head. No, it's not. It's the top. Let's go look at the rudder. Oh, the rudder's gone. Oh. Whoa. It's missing. Hinges. Okay, so this is the elevator. Oh, I'm on the freaking elevator, man. I need to back up. Oh, I can see the elevator itself. Dude, I still can't believe we got the tether tangled up the first time. That's so sketchy. Whoa, see that fish? Look at oh, that yeah. fish. Oh, yeah. The fish lives here. Oh, I'm not going to go under there. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Look at that. Yeah, dude, I think I found the wing somehow. The aileron, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so if this is the trailing edge, then the fuselage should be over here. Yeah. There it is. I just keep getting this feeling that like the tether's on something because it, it seems to be a little more sluggish than normal. I think they were trying to tow the plane and then they failed and dropped it deeper. Oh, really? Oh, there's, oh, here we are. It's gotta be a motor. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's what we found the first time though. That looks like an engine to me though. Spooky. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Wild. It almost looks like the, the wing is on the, yeah, the wing is on the ground. I must have gotten stuck under the other wing on the other side or something. Oh yeah, it's buried right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the star. Oh, what? It's the Air Force star, Navy, it's whatever. Navy. It's gonna be the rudder. <laughs> whoa, there's, whoa, look at all the fish on it. Oh, I mean the guy that's not moving at all right there. It's a Placostomus. Hey, little buddy. He's alive? He's dead. No, he's alive. Oh, oh yeah, See, he's there dead. he goes. All right, just right. blowing him away. I'll uh -huh. leave him alone. Right, right. Oh, fuck. Oh, right. fuck. what is you're that? Good. You're good. It might be another gunner bay. Here's another engine. Whoa. Yeah, that one broke apart. Whoa. Yeah, so this wing is up in the air. It's elevated. The other one is on the ground. It's not a problem. No. That's the engine right there. It fell off. That might have. This might have been what I found the first time I found the bomber. Plenty of stuff to get caught on. Well, okay, I'll just follow this wing tip out to the end and then go up. There's more letters. We go. Oh, it says United States. Maybe. That's a T. T L. I'm reading it backwards, but T L E. There's two T's. Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Yeah. yeah. There's the S E A. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe and get out of here. Let's see. How should I do this? I'm just gonna see if I can look up and see my tether. Yep. There it is. I'm just gonna follow that tether straight. It's the nice thing about robots, you don't have to do a decompression stop. Oh, this thing goes up fast. Yeah. Woo! Some swirlies going. 24 feet. Let's see where it surfaces. Oh, it's right there. It's pretty close. That was a successful day of uh, airplane wreck diving, yep. I would say. High five. We lost no robots and uh, got some sweet footage of a World War II bomber. Oh, welcome back, little guy. Amazing. Turns out some divers have actually done a full 3D scan of this bomber. So if you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description. Okay, here we are back at Lake Union for some more submarine shenanigans. So today we've got a claw. Look at that. That looks so ominous in there with the claw. There's a shovel. Let's get it. <laughs> Should we get I it? Use a shovel. Okay, I'll get you a shovel. It's in good shape. It looks like an easy thing to grab. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you can see the submarine down there. Yeah, Sebastian gets a new shovel. All right. Oh, it's slimy. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this thing. It's It's been down there for a while. Look at that, there's a post. Take it. Take it. <laughs> that? That's a fishing pole. Should we get a fishing pole? I need a fishing pole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it's like a really small one though. Oh, there's no pole. I don't know how this thing works. I mean, is that? No, it's like, 
I don't know how to fish. Oh wow, oh wow, live bike! Woo! A live no. scooter! <laughs> oh dude, if we dude, can pull that in. Let's get it, let's get it. I don't think we're gonna be able to, but we can try. <laughs> So the claw can grab these things, but that doesn't mean the submarine has enough thrust to lift them. It's possible to grab something with a claw and then pull the submarine up by hand, but the claw doesn't have all that much gripping strength and the tether isn't made to hold heavy loads, so we need a better strategy. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this thing. Later. Oh, that, that's a... Is that a bike? That could be a very bike. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many... Yeah, dude, that's a handlebar. There's so many live bikes in here. <laughs> This bike was super stuck in the mud. Remember this, we'll come back to it later. Let's see what we got here. Wired B12 Rush. Okay, Sebastian, what's what's your idea for catching this lime scooter? Okay, so Daniel is gonna use the uh, the robot there to bring this loop down. And then once it's, he's gonna hook it around like the handlebars or something, and then I just gotta pull and it'll like cinch it and then I'll just pull the whole thing up myself. Okay, I'm a little skeptical that the robot is gonna have enough fidelity to get this loop on there. I can make it pretty big. So I came up with an alternative solution that I'm gonna run past you here. <sighs> oh, hey, that's already all right. This is my <laughs> DIY welded <laughs> grappling hook spear. So we're just gonna spear that through the spokes and then hopefully catch one and pull it up. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's right there. Jeez. Whoa, you can see it. Whoa. That's crazy. I can see it now. Oh, oh wait, this is a different one. Did, oh. we, did we see the, the Vevo bike? No. We saw I, a lime scooter. Yeah, this is a whole different dude. We're going to have so <laughs> many electric vehicles that don't work. I don't know about this one, man, because it's in the weeds, kind of. Trying to find something that's sticking up, like maybe a kickstand or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, pedal, pedal, pedal. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. One. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, okay. You might just need to catch the sub and the bike. I think we're still on it. Oh, yeah, just just keep pulling. Okay, well, I'll now turn, it gets heavy. I'll turn off the motors. Oh. Yeah, pull that sucker. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You oh, give it a yoink. No way, I think I actually got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll grab it. Wait, oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh they're, they're heavy! I know! Okay, try and get the ROV off of it. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow, these things are chonky. Oh, it's slimy. Oh. Yeah, we have the same. Good, great condition. It's gonna make a great white elephant gift. <laughs> okay, well, let's put the tether back on. All right. Go again. Two. Yeah, we gotta get the scooter now. Hi. Oh, 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 there's oh, a scooter. I can still maybe put it through the wheel. Uh, no, those spokes are too small. Oh, wait, what, what is this? this? I think I, I think it's the, I think the bike is right next to the scooter. Yeah, here it is. Oh, dude, you pulled it up there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, now pull, 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 pull. Sorry. I can't really get free very easily. Huh. You might need to pull to help me get loose. Okay, wow, well, free now. Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's how, oh, right? It kind of really, hurts. It really hurts, too. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> oh, that thing is not, not going anywhere. Damn, I thought my grappling hook was going to be the, the winner, winner, chicken dinner. But I think you're slipping the idea. Yeah. It's better. Get over there. Come on. Oh, so close. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. only on the... I'm on the handlebar, but... I don't know, man. I, I, I could just try it. Try it, yeah. Pull it lightly. Yeah, uh... Oh, fuck, it came off. Come on, move, move, move. Ah, just pull. You should just pull. You got it? Yes! You were on! We're on? Woo! Okay. Keep tension. Just start trying to pull it up, and I'm gonna see if I can dislodge. Okay, I'll film it going up. Keep pulling. Ah! Ah, this thing is heavy. Woo! We can add this to our collection. Ugh. Got another scooter here. Yeah, I see it. I think we got it. Oh my god, we got it. No! Oh. This time, we just tied the rope onto the claw and hoped it wouldn't let go. I wouldn't have been surprised if we had stripped out the claw motors doing this, but it actually ended up working. 
We're at seven percent battery. Congrats, it's man. moving. I know what I'm saying. I'm gonna have to apply. We got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. This thing is so nasty. Let's see if I can still ride it. Yeah. <laughs> They've been in the water for so long that they don't auto lock when you try and ride them. So these things are free to use. How's the ride? Great. I mean, slimy, but... Slimy. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no way this thing still works. Oh, no. It just stopped when you start I think going. it... Maybe it... There it is. There it is. What? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, ride it some more over here. I think it might be regen charging. That's crazy. It's regen charging. Dude, these things are so waterproof. <laughs> this is the gross one. It's been down it's there for a while. It's not connected. No, is it? To a phone. Man, that's incredible. Look at that. This is ready to go again. So today we're gonna use the submarine to put a hook on the bike that's buried in the mud and then attach that hook to this giant bag. <laughs> and then we're gonna fill up this giant bag with air from the air compressor here, powered by the EF Delta battery. And then hopefully that's gonna make enough buoyancy to yank this bike up out of the mud. So this should be exciting. We could just use a winch, but that's too easy. <laughs> This is our grappling hook that the sub is going to carry down to place on the bike. The submarine was pretty difficult to control with the weight of the claw and the pulley in the front. We added foam to the top to try and offset the weight, but the center of gravity was still off. Wait, this is it. Oh. I got it. All right. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm going to try and hook the basket. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Now I remember how hard this was. Uh, so am I supposed to get ready to pull it? They keep tension on it, yeah. Well, um... All right. Oh, wow, I cannot control it. There's the basket. I'm going to go for the basket. Okay, get ready. Okay. And pull. Yeah, I think we got it. Okay. Yeah, okay, the bag just went taut. Okay. So keep pulling. I'm going to release the claw. Released, okay. Yep. Now we have a bag <laughs> full of air. Okay. And we gotta put more air in it. <laughs> Actually, first we gotta take the bag down. We need a way to let air out of the bag. You got tension? I got tension. Okay, I'll try and flip this thing up now. So you're gonna have to kind of uh, give a little bit as I pull this up. Okay. We just need to let the air flow out, let the water flow in. But we don't want all the air to flow out because then we won't have any opposing force to keep tension on the line. Are you able to pull it down? I was working on it, I think so. Yeah. It's okay. going. Okay, wait, wait, stop. Okay. I'm gonna film it going down with the submarine. Okay. Okay, you can continue. Oh, wait, I think you're at the bottom. Yeah, it's all the way down. I'm gonna start up the EF Delta here. This uh, this air compressor is the jankiest thing on earth. Yeah, we're freaking oh, yeah. ready. <laughs> okay, so I plug it in or what? You're gonna like move backwards, right? Yeah, hang on. Hopefully our friend here doesn't mind the noise. <laughs> it squirts sparks out of the brushes and there's no safety shutoff valve so if you just leave it on it'll blow up yeah you can plug in the air compressor okay uh, all right Un i unplug it how are we doing well we're great i don't see anything happening but oh i'm gonna unplug it did anything happen i think we're probably good is it actually doing <laughs> Keep going now? i'll try and look and see if i can see air coming out of the hose uh, where's the button? It's not working. You just gotta plug it in. I did. Oh. Shit! Our air compressor's broke. How about Ethan's janky wiring job here? Could something have come off? But if, maybe if it's pressurized now, it doesn't want to start up because it, it requires a higher power to actually get started. It does not look like there's a lot of life left in the brushes. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this one here. Okay. I mean, the pressure looks low if we can trust these gauges, so I can just... I mean, is it actually... It is inflating, right? Do we even know if any of this is working? No. Okay. I'll deflate this here. Okay, what if we blow into it? How much can we... <laughs> You're not going to be able to blow. How many PSI was <laughs> I'm, it? I'm looking. Did, we need? Did you calculate? Well, I'm thinking in terms of volume, like gallons. How many liters? This piece of garbage. These brushes do look like they're down to the metal. Oh, yeah, they're shot. I just wiggled the brush and it worked. <laughs> Oh, it's going! Whoa! It went up! Uh, uh, no bike! No bike. <laughs> Damn it! Um, <laughs> what happened to the hook? 
Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Can you pull it or does it not come up? I'm pulling it, it's a bit heavy. Well, we're still attached to something. Wait, we didn't get it, did we? Can you just look at your summary and see what the heck is down there? Okay. <laughs> I see a lot of mud. I don't see much else. Well, I'm pulling something. Is there a bike hanging? I think there's a bike here. What? Wait, let me find it. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come up and take a look at it before I keep pulling? Oh my God, there's a bike. Oh man. <laughs> 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 oh, there's a freaking Mikata bike. Wow, we just yoinked that whole thing up out of the mud. Oh. That is excellent. Oh. oh, wow, there's so much crap in the water here. All right, should I keep going? <laughs> That's a yellow bike. Yeah, pull it up. <sighs> Rotating it back. Wow, this is like an old rideshare bike or something. Whoa. One dollar per hour. Whoa, this is old school, it's man. Ancient. It's this like a taxi. A relic. Oh, it smells bad. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of damage. I think we did that. You think? I think so. By our overpowerful <laughs> powerful hook. <laughs> I don't have any place to put it. Otherwise, I would totally take it. This is fixable. <laughs> it's fixable. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You can take the electronic wheel off of it. It's got one barnacle on it right there. So I think it's been under there for a while. The bag worked, I can't believe it. Worked pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Ride it, ride it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the chain came off. Oh, the chain just came off. Oh, wow, it completely rusted oh, apart. Shit. I just tore the chain entirely. Look, there's the link. Yeah, it completely busted. Oh man. Oh, take it to the bike shop. It needs a tune up. Sebastian's drinking the lake with his life straw. We were paddle boarding and we found some more scooters. So we're gonna ride them down this hill. It's gonna be sick. Free ride. They're broken because they're too wet. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That one lost its top. Oh. You can see the GPS right there. Oh, it's That's pretty cool. Send it. How was it? <laughs> it's gnarly, dude. They still work. They still got brakes. That's all that matters. Ghost ride the whip. Oh. It's definitely going back, yeah, in. going back in. Some hooligans are going to find them. I found mine right here and Sebastian's was over there. Rest in peace. That's where it will lie.